one of the really interesting things was when my mom was first diagnosed with breast cancer, she said to me, don't worry about it, I'm gonna be fine because there's a lot of people out there working on finding a cure for breast cancer. So I am so thankful and New Balance is so thankful that you guys are here today so other people who have rare cancers when they're diagnosed can also be like my mom and think, hey, I'm gonna be fine because there's so many people out there working on it. I hate cancer and you should hate it too and let me tell you why. Cancer doesn't care who you are, how much money you have, what titles you have, or if you've suffered before. When I was 14 years old, cancer came into my home and it took my father away from me. And then it tried to take me. And I'm a big fan of this event. I've been riding since 2009. I wouldn't miss it for the world. But the reason I wasn't here a few years ago is because I was locked in a hyper bubble on the eighth floor of a Memorial Sloan Kettering getting my second stem cell transplant. I was 35 years old, training for the New York City Marathon on top of the world. I was a happy, healthy, young guy. I was tormented by itchy skin, night sweats, and a bunch of confused doctors. And after about four months of wondering what the hell was going on inside my body, I was diagnosed with a rare form of lymphoma called CD20 positive Hodgkin's lymphoma. I prayed for a miracle. And do you know what a miracle looks like to cancer patients? It looks like successful research and new drugs. And this is the critical piece of the puzzle I'm really trying to communicate to everyone. Cancer patients are desperate. We are literally waiting every second of every minute of every day for a life-saving breakthrough. New Balance is really proud to be a part of this effort and this initiative. New Balance has been partnering with companies for over 26 years now in the fight against cancer. So we're particularly proud to be a part of this, uh, this partnership and we're really excited to be here. I shared a story last year. We are making a difference. My sister uh, was diagnosed with stage three cancer last year and I'm happy to report that she is in remission right now after a year of treatment. I'm feeling a lot of love here today. I have my wife with me from my family, I have my New Balance family, and I have my Cycle for Survival family. So let's get after it. Excited to call Boston my new home with my fiance, Matt, who is actually here riding as well. I've been part of this amazing organization for the last three or four years. Um, this is my first time riding in Boston, but I'm so inspired to see so many people out here today for this great and amazing cause. It's about raising awareness for rare cancer, sure. It's about raising funds, but it's also our second family our cancer family. When we're here, we're one team. We are one team together and we're all fighting for the same thing. And this is my favorite day of the year for that reason, because I love feeling a part of something that we can all relate to one another. So ride hard, make new friends, hear new stories, and bring more people back with you next year. I'm the deputy chief of the Stem Cell Transplant Service. So we do bone marrow transplants. We treat patients with leukemia, lymphoma, myeloma. These are tough diseases to treat. In some cases, even the transplant doesn't work. So we're working on new treatments to try and make the transplant more effective, cure more patients, and also make it safer. So we basically take the patient's own cells and make them fight the cancer. And we're doing that in patients with leukemia, both pediatric and adult patients. This is a rare cancer. We're getting response rates over 80%, 90% of these patients are responding when the chemotherapy doesn't work. This is what we're doing. Now, with the money we've raised, what Cycle for Survival has allowed Ms. Morris and Ketrin to do is to think big and be bold. Normally you, you write grants, it takes a year sometimes to get funding, sometimes two years. The money that we are raising today, the money that we are raising this year, is going to be in the labs working to beat rare cancers this summer. That's the difference. It's because of the funds raised at this event that um, he was, he and his amazing team were able to do the research and start the trial and save my Mia's eye. Um, and it's, eye removal is a common outcome for kids with retinoblastoma, but um, most of his patients don't have to face that now because of the strides they've made in the last few years. I'm happy to report that Mia just celebrated two years cancer free. I wanted options. I wanted to know that there was money real money going to research, and if it was too late for me, then at least for others. It's 14 years later, and I know I'm an incredibly lucky person. My cancer never came back. <laughs>